Hey guys, <laughs> didn't know you were filming today. We've been bumped out of the space for a little while, but now we're back. Timothy Chalamet's little brother had a production of uh, Annie Jr. It was a 2019 take on human trafficking. It's up for an Obie. Is Michael around? Uh, yeah, he's in the office. Hey, Michael. I'm gonna have to get this. Joel, what's up? You ready to make some theater history? No, don't do that. Can, can we just talk in here for a second? I, I thought they weren't gonna be here. You gotta have a doc crew here. If a tree falls in the woods and nobody takes a selfie of it, did it even fall? We have to get this play up and running. I'm going broke, okay? We're not here to make a documentary. We're here to put on a play, okay? Do you have a mic on right now? I do. And it's capturing all of this. Oh. And this is good stuff. This is material. Oh. Right? God, this is like. Are you funding the play yourself? What? No, of course not. <laughs> I would. That would be crazy. <laughs> uh, Michael's still producing, and he has a lot of good ideas about funding. Reality TV, baby. Boom. That's where the money is. I mean, what if we uh, start voting off the worst actor at the end of every rehearsal? The winner gets their own one-man show or something, or gets married or something. What about at the end of the first intermission, y'all get into a cat fight that spills out to the audience or something? Well, I could do that. What a brilliant idea, since I've played a cat before in the Moscow Art Theater's production of Cats. Not the Andrew Lloyd Webber <laughs> musical. It was a straight play in which I played the cat. Does John know about the rewrite? No, no, it's not a rewrite. It's just a little fat for the cameras to see. We're doing more of a documentary. Oh, documentary, reality TV, tomato, tomato. Except one tomato is fun and sellable, and the other tomato is boring as fuck and needs a Kickstarter page. I mean, I've taken out a few cash advances. I don't think you're supposed to do that on credit cards. But it's definitely gonna pay off. I mean, when we get a big Broadway contract. I'm not worried about it at all. It's just a stupid child locker. I mean, this has to work out, or I'm totally fucked. Okay, who is excited? Let's all gather. I was uh, thinking about our run through today and I decided to add a few scenes. We had to start a hand raising policy because most of our rehearsals have just kind of degenerated into. Down the chair, Daddy! Click the chair! Down! I can't learn any more lines. Ned, hands. Let's everybody calm down. It's just a few scenes to act one and. Uh, Scene to act three. And there's just a small epilogue. <laughs> At Rosa Blunt's. When is the cat fight? I love the theater as much as the next person does, but if Michael can get us a reality TV deal, I mean, that's the dream, isn't it? I don't really do reality TV. My process, I like to just drink a little ayahuasca before rehearsal. It makes a safe space for my soul and my character's soul to make tantric love. That was more of a sound than a question, Jamie. So, I have to- It is, I'm the enforcer. Joel says he wants a hand-raising policy. Joel gets a hand-raising policy. I will end you. Something's going on with Ashley. I told Ashley that Henry and Jamie were dating. What? Reality TV don't make itself? Hashtag producer. Hey, did y'all know that a hashtag is just a pound sign? What if instead of saying my lines, I sing them? Well, I'm still here. Henry, we, we go over this every day. It's, it's not a musical. Yeah, but wouldn't it be better if it was? I can show you the world. I don't know how to respond to that, but please don't sing your lines. Okay, Joel. You know what they say, when life gives you lemons, let them know you're a triple threat. Ashley, mm -hmm. you're gonna play with some lighting setups, right? Yep. Be a shame if any of them fell. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this is going great. 
Jamie has been out of this world. Henry hasn't tried to add one dance number, and Ned, Ned doesn't even know where he is right now. It's all gonna work out. Dreams! <laughs> Go for them! Is that it? Is that how it all ends? On someone's social media wall? Looking dead-eyed and wild, surrounded by little orange bottles with our names scrawled on them by the hand of death. F*** you, Dr. Larry! Boring as f***. Sad and shaking, and holding a butter knife to cut into our last birthday cake. I'm gonna win a Tony for this. <laughs> With all the presents tagged and labeled. Do you hear that? Ready to go back to the store Is it me? soon. I didn't get kicked in. All the likes, all the comments. Then the universe scrolls on, refresh page, and you're not there. Like, love, happy face, angry face, cry face. Cry face. Cry face. Okay, okay, hold, uh, just stop. Quick note. Hmm? <gasps> You're dying. What? Yes. Oh, yeah, you, you mean in the script? Yeah, did, did you? Think I meant. Well, don't talk to me like I'm the character. That just confuses me. <laughs> I'm not dying. So, what's your note? Well, d you're dying. I'm not. Am I still frozen? Oh, no, you can, you can unfreeze. Thank you, Julio. No problem, Jamie. There is no Jamie! <laughs> so, what's the note, Joe? This is um, a big moment for you, and you can really just, just let it flow. Joel is doing as we say it in the theater, a terrible job. He wants you to cry. I can do that. I didn't say that. I, I, I just use a tear stick. A what? A, a tear stick, it's just a little bit of menthol. I'll just put it under my eye. No, just believe in the circumstances. That I have to cry? No, no, the circumstances in the play. I got bear mace, you want me to just spray him in the face with some bear mace? I could just spray him right in the face. No, no, no one's spraying anybody with anything. Yeah, I can do that. I heard Daniel Day-Lewis use his bear mace. Is a bear in here? Uh, what if I just do a crying face like this? <laughs> don't do that, don't. No, don't, don't do that. Just, just do whatever's real. That actually looks good. Well, none of this is real, Joel. How am I supposed to do what's real? What happens when people stop being polite and start being real? The real world, theater edition. You want to have a documentary veneer, reality TV show in the core, and then when they eat it all up, they get into the core, they can't get out. Look, Jaleel, it doesn't seem that you're going to be getting to my scene. Can I go? Don't leave. <laughs> What does it feel like to be drenched in 1,000 tears of my soul? Homewrecker! Ah! 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 Y'all are getting this, right? Hey, hey y'all are getting this, right? Producer. 
should have let Ned dry cry. But I think you're missing the point. We're gonna have both. We're gonna have a documentary. Then why don't you be the first person to make a documentary that has a reality TV show inside it? You know what I'm talking about? It's like you go in the Good Humor Man, okay? And you're gonna get one of them Good Humor Pops. It's ice cream on the outside. You be eating it on a hot day and all of a sudden there's a stick of chocolate in the center. You didn't know that when you bought it. You're gonna, you're gonna buy that again. I, t I, I guarantee you 100%.